Hi. So you've ordered your chair covers and your sashes from us here at Rent Event. Now I need to know how to tie your perfect bow on your chairs. Okay, you need to get your sash. This one's the burnt orange taffeta. And you need to have equal lengths both sides. Find the middle and put it around the front of the chair, like so. Okay, right, again, both sides are equal. You want to start off by tying the start of a bow. So around, up and under, like that. It's a normal start of a bow. Okay, so if you pull to keep it nice and tight, that'll stop it slipping around your chair. And you want to take your left hand and make a small loop with the left hand side of the sash, like so. If you keep the loop small, it's easier to do what we're going to do. Okay, so using these knuckles on the left hand, if you push them against the sash, against the chair, that again will stop it all slipping round and coming undone. With the right hand, take the right hand side of the sash, bring it round the back of the loop you've just done, around the back of your fingers, here, back of your fingers, and around the front of the loop you've just done, and push to make a small loop around the back and through where your fingers were. So, you've got your first loop, and it comes around the back, start again, comes around the back, around the front, and you push a small loop of that side through where your fingers are, use those fingers to pull it through and the original loop is now in your right hand and you're going to pull both sides nice and tight so your knot in the middle here is tight and taut. Okay, you can pull as much through as you want keeping that knot nice and tight. Right, obviously going to dangle down, you don't want that. You then pull on either length and that will make your bow smaller. You can always pull more through again if you want to afterwards. You want to then puff out the sides of your bow, like so, to make it stand more upright. Okay, that's not a bad size, so I would leave it that size rather than pull more through. But again, you can make it smaller by pulling on these, bigger by pulling on those. As long as you keep your knot nice and tight, it will all stand up quite well. And then you can adjust any bits you want to adjust afterwards. Okay, so that's what your bow will look like. And that's the taffeta burnt orange, that one. Okay, so it's quite a big bow. Depends on how big you want them to what you're going to do and the dangly bits, whether you want them to go to the floor or not. Okay, now to undo the bow, it's quite simple. You end up with no knot, you just pull on the dangly bits and it comes undone and you've got no knot to deal with there. Done. Enjoy your day.